morning everyone, Riley and I have just packed up all of our bags and we're about to throw them in the car and head to the airport. Feels like I'm on holidays. And what are we up to this morning? We are flying to Barbados. A long time ago we had to book in an appointment to try and get a US visa. So you probably remember that we are trying to organise it in Antigua when we were there and at that time the closest place was Barbados. We've moved on from there and we probably should have done it in the Bahamas. But we're gonna fly over to Barbados to try and get our US visas. We're not sailing because we would have to go straight back into the trade winds, which we'd, we just wouldn't get there in time. It'd be a disaster. So we just gotta tell the marina people that we're leaving and for them to watch our boat. Pretty, pretty please while we're gone. Kyle, is it? Yes, I'm Kyle, yes sir. But um, we're not going to be on board for the next four days. Okay. Alright, so we're in the car here with Alex. <laughs> and this car is actually Conrad's. We met him in, at the medical centre when Riley was getting his stitches out. He's a lawyer and he offered to lend us his car. So that's what we've been driving around and it's just been amazing to have a vehicle here. So Alex you Get is, around the island in about 10 minutes. Conrad's in Sicily at the moment um, for his son's graduation. So anyway, he's not here, but thank you, Conrad. You're amazing. And thank you, Alex, for driving us. Oh, you are. <laughs> I was really hoping for a deep and meaningful conversation on this flight route, but am I going to get it? Westerners that they wrote books about And I am not so Source of violent history I carry no rivalry So we just got into our hotel room. Ah, oh, it's quite nice. We've got a view of the street though, not the beach, but we can definitely go check out the beach tomorrow morning. I've convinced Riley to come for a walk with me to find some food because I am starving. And I just researched on the internet and there is a 24 hour place down the road. I'm not sure how good it's going to be, but I need some food or I'm seriously going to die. Show me a hole. Yep, oh, one's got one there. That's alright. I've had this for about eight years. You get away with it. Alright, let's go. Riley, come on. <laughs> I'm sick of this game business. So this is our hotel. It's called the Accra. And I could tell that the receptionist wanted to ask what the hell we were doing <laughs> this time of night because nothing is open. Little does he know I'm about to die. It says 24 hours. Weird. <laughs> Fries and salad, and what are we watching on the TV? World Series of Poker. World Series of Poker. I keep hearing a dog that's like crying and whinging, but I'm pretty sure it's coming from one of the poker machines. It's been very disturbing. So we made it to the center of town. I think this is the center of town. Um, very loud, lots of vehicles. And we found ourselves a bridge and some markets. So Riley and I hired a hire car today and we're going to explore the north of the island. Is that what we're doing? We are. Like a... Like a proper holiday. Yep. When you came out of the blue Love came like the gold from the blue It's happened once in a blue moon What's that? Oh, we got a parking ticket. No, I thought so. I don't know how much for. Doesn't say. Oh, 50. 50 dollars. We were there for like two minutes. Honestly, I don't know if that's that's the dude there. That's him drinking the coke. I saw him when we parked here. That's him. He's not handing out parking tickets. Yeah, he doesn't he... even have shoes on. The culture of Barbados is a blend of West African, Creole, Indian and British cultures present in Barbados. They are officially called the Barbadians. Historically, the economy of Barbados has been dependent on sugarcane cultivation and related activities. But since the late 1970s and early 1980s, it has diversified into the manufacturing and tourism sectors. Barbados is just outside the hurricane belt and is often spared natural disaster. 
At first sight, she looks a lot like the other surrounding islands in the Lesser Antilles, green and beautiful. So our receptionist, um, who we absolutely harassed this morning, he was very friendly, gave us a map. He was an absolute He was amazing. Very, he very said, cool. um, well, we're, we're actually, we're just rocking up now to the animal caves. I have no idea what's going on here. I'm guessing it has to do with animals and caves. But he said it was a do not miss. So yeah, we're about to go see what the hell's going on here. So this place is shut. They just sent their last few people through. And it's actually um, a display of um, flora down there in the cave. So it's like, you know, seeing an anemone, but except plants. Yeah, so we're gonna miss out on that. That's fine. More importantly, this dude was flying his drone and then answered the phone. Really? Yeah. <laughs> we should get some of his footage. So we going to the cave. Come, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. She's letting us in last minute. Bring the camera. I've got the camera. Let's go look at the flower All right, so All right, let's go in. Come on, quick. Chop, chop. Oh. It's a natural forest in cave. Sometimes the force of the water blow right up to those steps. We're looking at right now is all coral and limestone. Barbados is originally from 95% coral, 5% limestone. Ba Barbados? Barbados. The whole island? The whole island made of coral and limestone. Wow. Billy Ocean that sings the song, The Color of Love. Yeah. But he actually filmed a part of his music video right here with this opening. It happens that way, what you see. We just saw a monkey run across the road and climb up a tree. Causing traffic. Devastated. <laughs> what did you think of the floral cave, Elena? Um. I thought that if it was something that you'd stumbled across, it would be amazing. But yeah. Because there's stairs and stuff. And you had and to stuff, pay. Yeah, and you had to pay 20 bucks each to get in there. And yeah, to pay to get in there, it's just. I don't know, you drive there and there's other tourists there and it just really... Yeah, to find that by ourselves, that would have been amazing. But, oh well, sometimes you get a... So then you need to give yourself credit when you do find something, even if it's like one-tenth as good as that. Mm. You know what I mean? And yeah. we have. We found places that are like really cool. Yeah. Today's Williams Newsmakers is brought to you... It would have been really awesome to grab an airbnb for the next few days like in a little shack like a colorful shack or something and we searched high and low but everything was booked out we wind it up here but it's okay right what do we need to do i gotta look pretty for our appointment hang on give me this camera no give me the camera <laughs> why is this on your head i don't know i'm in a ridiculous mood <laughs> <laughs> so yes, we're off to our appointment this morning. Fingers and toes are crossed, we really need this. But you're not going to believe it, or maybe you will. Um, we had passport photos taken in Antigua and we left the photos on the boat. It's been interesting this morning, realising this and then rushing around. But um, we found a, a store just down the road and I think we're still going to be on time. It's not just my fault. Stop and smell the flowers. We've made it, Ralph. Yeah, we still haven't been approved, but we've made it 15 minutes early. <laughs> well, that was interesting. That lasted for, what, four hours? Got in there at 10, left at one. Riley, can you quickly add that up? Three hours. Three hours. I was filming in the car park and um, a police officer waved us down and then three came out and they took our passports and took our names, made me delete the video in the car park and I was like, what? I, like, I can't take a video in the car park. We're trying to do this. We're just trying to talk in the car park. Yeah, I managed to get a video of myself picking a French penny. But yeah, straight after that, it was very serious and like, I, can't, I just can't believe the security measures that they go to. Like, it was full on. I was like shaking. But anyway. And then when you go through the first set of metal detectors, it's like Fort Knox. It's like when you see people walking into the Pentagon. It, mm -hmm. it really felt like that. Yeah. Actually, 
Someone once told me if you are inviting people on board or you have friends come to stay or particularly if you're running a charter, remember when we were talking about this Elaine? The first thing that people see is the tender and so what he was saying is, is like your, your first bit of presentation that you have and, and getting people into the groove of the whole holiday or situation or whatever, the first thing that they see of your boat and their holiday is your tender. And it's similar to if you're eating food, you eat first with your eyes. And like our very first experience of going to the US, and I don't know, it's probably different to just going on a holiday, but still being exposed to this like huge amounts of, <clears throat> what would you say, Elena? Bureaucracy and yeah. hoo-ha. I felt like I'd done something really wrong. Hoo-ha, yeah, you, you immediately feel guilty and it just it's just not the right foot to get off on, I don't think, when you're... Yeah when you're trying to, and I realise there's so many people trying to get in and, and... They have to be like that to protect the borders. Just because but. there's so much volume of people. Mm. And there was a large volume of people in there. So what happened was, our guy approved our visa, hooray. The dude goes, okay. Visa's approved. Um, come back in five days to get your passports. And Elena and I both go, what? <laughs> what and we didn't even say anything he's like how long how long did you think that was going to take and we we're like, like i thought we would have it this afternoon he wrote us a slip to come back at three which we'll need to leave pretty soon and he's going to check online to see if it's approved already and if it is he can print them out and we're free to go otherwise we'll have to send up we'll have to go back to turks and caicos tomorrow send our passports here by the mail and wait until we receive them back which is really annoying and we really hope that's not the case but Whatever. Anyway, we should go, honestly. Yeah. Well, it's good to be home. We still haven't unpacked everything. I fell asleep straight away. Riley went for a walk, but we're up early this morning and I've just been for a walk. Riley slept in a little bit. Yeah, today we are hoping to stock up the boat, turn the fridges back on because we turned those off and head off to the Bahamas. Where's our first stop, Ross? Uh, Ackland's Harbour. Ackland's Harbour. No, I'm in the middle of something, I can't tell you. All right. It's not your game, is it? No. <laughs> Good. Because we have no food on the boat, I'm gonna go over to the marina office here and buy some ice to make a smoothie, because I'm dying. <coughs> nah, it's good. <laughs> so what's the weather going to be like when we leave? We're waiting a day because it goes from 25 down to 20, but it'll be rough. It looked pretty rough this morning from yeah. the beach, yeah. But we'll be right. It's downwind, so I'm not worried at all. I just don't want to leave. It's not that I don't want to, it would just be better to go through that pass when it's not blowing 25. Yeah. But the sailing downwind part, 25 is our bread and butter downwind. Food shop. Done. You get up. Don't try it. No, I'm getting it. That's good. This is what we've been craving for the past few days. Like this is all we wanted in Barbados. <laughs> Months. Just a good salad sanger. It's all you need in life. You might want to elaborate. <clears throat> On the ingredients? No. On the fact that we found ourselves away from the boat. Mm, it's hard and to... And therefore couldn't cook our own meals. And mm. we're eating out. And everything's just greasy. So being in Barbados and not being able to get an Airbnb which has kitchens, which like we way prefer because we can buy our own stuff and cook it. So we've had to eat out. We ate out a lot in Barbados and just it's so good to come home to a fridge and all my ingredients. Not that this is particularly difficult to make but um yeah it's what you've done with it now <laughs>